What up, YouTube? Archer Double E Dash the ZON coming at you once again. Part three of my Nintendo Wii U physical collection. Keep in mind, it's just physical. My, my two terabyte hard drive is there. Uh, I don't have it connected right now, so that's the only reason I'm going there and make a list. But if I remember games that are on there, I'll mention them. But I have a shitload of games on there. Uh, you know, going back to the collection, we left off with uh, Captain, Co Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. Here is Super Mario 3D World. And I know you're saying, oh, you, got, you already mentioned that. Yeah, it's because I had my copy. It stopped working. And then I downloaded it on my, on my hard drive. And then when my sons got their Switch, another game that their mother told me I could just keep for myself was their copy of 3D World. So I have two copies. Fucking fantastic. Here we have Disney Infinity. Again, it's one of the games I got for my boys. Uh, they didn't play much of it because, you know, uh, this was around the time that the divorce happened and a lot of moving between the houses and all that. And, you know, you got to play this with that little platform where you got to put the toys on and all that. But, you know, I do have it in the collection. It is what it is. Next. Yoshi's Woolly World. What a fucking gem of a 2D platformer. This is the game that has me psyched out of my fucking skull for Yoshi's Crafted World coming out on the Switch. Because this is the game that looks cutesy and everything from the soundtrack to the graphics and to the look of it. And even the way the title spelled out says, oh, this is a kitty game. This is a, a game for kids. But you know me, I don't give a fuck. Games are games. I'll play it and enjoy it no matter what. I took a chance on this game and the platforming was awesome the level design the gameplay mechanics were just incredible and i had so much fucking fun with this game so i cannot wait for craft of the world but this is a gem on the wii u next the amazing spider-man ultimate edition i picked this up on a whim went to a gamestop one day after work or, or i think it was lunch break at work since my job is right by a gamestop and i had money to spare and i said fuck i want to pick up something new for my wii u this was about two years ago or so and i saw this and i said fuck i love superhero games so let me get it Actually, pretty fun, man. Slinging around the city, web slinging around the city is fucking fun. Free floating, it, it feels great. Uh, you know, the combat's good. It's Spider Man. It's a good, decent Spider Man game. It ain't no Arkham Knight, but it's in the it's in the ballpark. It's good, good uh, superhero game. Next, Assassin's Creed Three. Pick this up probably within the first six months of the Wii U's life cycle. One of my early games. I think it was like the third or fourth game I bought. A uh, great version of Assassin's Creed. Again, oh, the third party ports on the Wii U didn't run good. Maybe that's true. I don't know. I don't care because my experience with this game was phenomenal. And I even downloaded the DLC, the George Washington uh, DLC, which was fucking awesome. But this takes place during the Revolutionary War. The Indians, the British, all that. It was fucking awesome. Great, great game. It's, it's just good, fun Assassin's Creed action. Can't ask for anything better. So, you know, the Wii U had two Assassin's Creed games, two Call of Duty games. It did have some third-party support. And last but not least, man, one of my all-time favorites... Pikmin fucking three. I didn't. I never played Pikmin one on the GameCube. <gasps> I know. Never played part two. <gasps> I know. I know. I know. Still to this day, as much as good as I've heard about them, as good as much good shit as I heard about them, never played them. But I kept hearing, you know, real time strategy, real time strategy. That's not my thing, and it still isn't. But this was one of the exclusives that came out on the Wii U at a time where we didn't have much to to, to buy, and. I know Miyamoto is directly behind this franchise, and that's one of my heroes. So I said, I'm going I'm to give it a chance. Oh, my God. I love this game. Pikmin 3, man. Hours. And my boy Jason, we were talking about it. He was like, man, Pikmin, I, I try to give it time, and I try to get into it, but I just can't. I just can't get into it. And I understand, brother. I understand. It's an acquired taste, like I told him. It really is, man, because you're talking to somebody who doesn't really give a shit about real-time strategy games. I don't really fuck around with them, and yet I am obsessed with this game. It's just, it's Nintendo's charm sprinkled in there. That they can make a real-time strategy game that is engaging and, and creative and innovative enough to hook me. When I don't give a shit about those games. This is just a fantastic exclusive. A fantastic time on the Wii U, man. So, that's my physical collection. Took me, damn, three videos to get through. Um, on, on my hard drive, off the top of my head, I know that I have Smash Brothers there. Y'all thought I didn't have Smash Brothers Wii U. <laughs> Y'all must be crazy. Uh, I, I had Smash Brothers Wii U physical, and then I don't know what happened to it. It either got stolen or I lended somebody, didn't remember who I lended to, and it got away from me. So I bought that motherfucker again. I didn't give a shit. I re-downloaded it. It's on my hard drive. I got Smash Brothers for Wii U with all the DLC. Trust a nigga. Trust me. I got that. Um, what else I got? Oh, uh, Fatal Frank 5 made in a Blackwater. Fucking awesome. Awesome horror survival game on the Wii U. Uh, got that. Uh, what else I got on there? Uh, I got We Party You on there. It's a fun uh, multiplayer party game. Uh, I got DuckTales HD on there. Fucking 
Stuck Tales, one of the classic 2D side scroller from the NES days. Redone in beautiful HD with voice acting and everything. Uh, I got Super Mario 3D World on there also. I know I got three versions of that game. Um, uh, new Super Luigi U is on there. Oh man, there's so much. Oh, Resident Evil uh, Revelations is on there. Uh, man, I, I, I got to do a whole other video uh, with my Wii U turned on and the hard drive access so I can see all the games on there. There's a shitload of games on there, man. Off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you all the games. I mean, virtual console games, everything, man. The Wii U was just fantastic, man. And I'm about to hook that motherfucker up right now when I finish this video and jump in. Uh, it, it, it's just, man, I, I to this fucking day, man, I can't, like, I feel like giving a collective worldwide bitch slap to every fucking soul call gamer out there that just let this amazing console just pass by and didn't jump on board, didn't support it. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 it truly is. I remember hearing comparisons back in the time when the Wii U was uh, still alive. Um, it's the Dreamcast of this generation. And while I never bought into that so, you know, full-blown because the Dreamcast put Sega out of business. Nintendo uh, has so much money in the bank that Wii U didn't even come close to putting them out of business. It was a failure, but it was just like, okay, whatever. Um... But it, it, it truly was the Dreamcast of, of, of that generation because it was ahead of its time in so many ways. Asymmetrical gameplay, off-screen gaming. This controller was phenomenal. I know people look at it today compared to what the Switch looks like and what the Switch feels like. Yeah, this is like a Fisher-Price toy uh, is the comparison. But it's so fucking comfortable. And there was no Switch when this came out. This was the prototype for the Switch, basically. And to this day, man, this is one of the, 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 the smoothest controllers that does everything. You have everything that a controller has ever done in video game history wrapped up in this gamepad. You have a camera. You have a microphone. You have front-facing speakers. You have dual analogs. You have a D-pad. You have face buttons, shoulder buttons, rumble, motion controls. It even came... I don't have it because I lost it, but it even came with a stylus for touch uh, touchscreen gaming. I mean, it did everything, man. The, the gamepad was just fucking phenomenal. Uh, and, it's, and it's something that's going to make the Wii U very hard to emulate or, or replace... Uh, in years to come, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep my eye on for the for when I mean right now they're pretty cheap. I could do it right now, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. But uh, to buy myself a, a fully boxed, brand new, or or even a used, but that comes with everything, gamepad included and everything, Wii U to have a spare, so that when this craps out, because I've already had this repaired once by by Nintendo. I mean it's it's awesome right now, but I had to have it send it in. Uh, when this gives out, I'm gonna need another gamepad. You need the gamepad to enjoy your Wii U. So that's something I'm going to do to just keep that going. Uh, but it's just such a great fucking console, man. <laughs> and, 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 and it forced Nintendo to, to fucking double down and, and to count on themselves. Because third-party fucking third-party developers, those motherfuckers, abandoned the shit out of it pretty much in its first year on the market. By the end of the Wii U's first year on the market, third-party had all but abandoned shit. All of them. And it was really just Nintendo and their second party uh, studios. Monolith, Retro, Nintendo. Uh, basically, that was it. Platinum, Sega was still there. That's about it. Activision, out the door. Ubisoft left them. EA fucking betrayed them from the jump. <laughs> from the jump. Those those little slimy motherfuckers. Uh, that, 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 that. Fuck EA. Um, you know, everybody had basically abandoned them, um, but it forced Nintendo to double down and be like, okay, we are going to have to survive this generation on our own backs, on the strength of our own fucking talent and our own games, and by God did they. You have some of the best versions of any Nint of, of, of many Nintendo franchises on the Wii U. The best Donkey Kong Country ever is on the Wii U. Yes, they ported it over to the Switch, that's another story, but... Before the Switch. Best Donkey Kong Country ever on the Wii U. Best uh, Smash Brothers before Ultimate on the Wii U. Uh, man, what else? Best 2D Mario on the Wii U. Not the best, but a phenomenal 3D Mario on the Wii U. Your the best version of every most people's favorite Zelda game, The Wind Waker, on the Wii U. Best, what else we had? Best Pikmin on the Wii U. Splatoon on the Wii U. They, they, they just, they, Hyrule, you know what? That's another game I have physical that I didn't see in this collection. Ah, 
My nephew has it. I lent it to him. Hyrule Warriors. That's another fucking beast of a game. Motherfucker, he had it. I, I got to text him. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, man. And, and then again, Zombie U. I lent that to my other, to my other uh, good friend of mine. Uh, man, it's just the Wii U has so many fucking dime pieces on that bitch, man. That I, I, I can't. I cannot understand how gamers didn't jump all over this shit. I mean, I have a video. You can go back on my channel. I have a video back during the time of the Wii U. I think it was like around 2013, 2014's E3. I made a video uh, called Today's Gamer is Not a Gamer. Today's Gamers are not gamers. And I still feel like that today, man. I mean, the Wii U was a gaming machine. And people would rather have Netflix, uh streaming and uh and you know a bunch of non-gaming shit on their console and that's what they were focused on when the wii u just had fucking beast games so you know i love the console everything about it uh two things i hate about it i hate the name and i hate the marketing and those were two of the biggest things that that, that led to its downfall from the very jump nintendo fucked up there uh but as far as a console as far as a game library as far as what matters to the real gamer? The Wii U is one of the greatest of all time. It really is. And, 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 and it, it, you've seen me. I, I made videos already in the, in the recent past about how this, about my Switch, as much as I love it and as great as it is, it don't stack up console-wise. It does not stack up to the Wii U. It does have better games so far. You know, the Mario on the Switch is better than the Mario on the Wii U. Smash Bros. on the Switch is better than Smash Bros. on the Wii U. You know, it's it, Zelda. You know, it's Breath of the Wild's on the Wii U also, but come on. You know, it's it's like, it does have better versus Splatoon 2 is better than Splatoon 1. But console-wise, the online, the OS, me verse, how I miss that bitch. I love the Switch, but it doesn't stack up to the Wii U. And that is why... As soon as I finish uploading this video, I'm going to jump into my Wii U and go, just go fucking ham. Uh, anyways, man, that's been my video series on the Wii U, my collection, three-part series. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. My dog, Jason, uh, I hope this just inspires you and, uh, and, and fuels you to go and enjoy your Wii U even more. Uh, it's just, it's a phenomenal console. And y'all think I'm playing. I shit you not. Within the very near future, I'm going to buy, if I can find a brand new boxed one, even better. But I'm going to buy a whole nother Wii U console, gamepad and everything, just to have on the side in case my original ever craps out. God bless y'all. Stay gaming. Peace.